know who has been bragging all over the campaign trail about how he's the one that overturned Roe v. Wade, but apparently his wife has different thoughts on the reproductive rights after posting this video plugging her memoir. Oh. Take a look. Individual freedom is a fundamental principle that I safeguard. Without a doubt, there is no room for compromise when it comes to this essential right that all women possess from birth, individual freedom. What does my body, my choice really mean? <laughs> So how... <laughs> she wrote this book probably a year ago. Yeah. So this isn't coming out of what's going on right now and all this crazy stuff they've been saying. So how do you think these clashing takes on abortion rights are going to play out with his base, with, with the people he thinks are listening to him? Whoa. Yes? Oh, one Do thing I, I was... Oh. <laughs> Wait, you raised your hand. Go ahead. That was so polite of you. So, um, this is... Uh... I actually 100% agree with Melania's take, but I do think this could hit some single-issue voters. So in 2016, Trump got 81% of the white evangelical vote and 52% of the Catholic vote in 2016. These are a lot of people that show up at the polls turning their face at everything else and saying, this is the one issue that matters. Trump himself has flip-flopped over the map, and he also conflicts with his own vice presidential candidate, so they can't seem to get on the same page. I actually think... Trump probably feels like Melania does, but he made a lot of promises, because he used to be pro-choice and he used to be more of a Democrat. I think he made promises and deals with the devil and has to pay up, and that's why he can't quite figure out which way he's going. But I do think this could affect enthusiasm for people that are voting on this one issue. So 62% of Americans oppose overthrowing Roe v. Wade, 62 percent. The Republican Party knows this. They, I think they put her up to this. I think it's a big scam. Uh, they put her out there, you know, as the face of, like, the American population th that wants to have abortion rights, and they figure, well, maybe, you know, she'll talk him into... The only problem is she doesn't talk to him. But... <laughs> probably. But besides that, I think that this is just a big, a big a lie. It's another lie from that area, and don't buy it. Well, by the way, I bet this is coming to a yeah. Kamala Harris ad near you very soon, um, that... Melania Trump is in favor of not just abortion rights. She goes on to defend late-term abortion. She goes into great detail in the book about it. Because she I understands think... why less than 1% do that, just to be clear. Yes, and I, I think that it's a couple of things. Well, for one, this actually doesn't put her out of step with all modern Republican first ladies. Laura Bush, Barbara Bush were all actually pro-choice themselves and, and had, had declared that on the record before. But in the Trump era, if any other national Republican candidate running for president, if their spouse came out and said, I am pro-choice and I even support late-term abortion, their career would be over. But it underscores the hypocrisy with Trump and that just nothing matters within the Republican nothing. Party at this no. point. I think it's twofold. I agree. I think it's strategic, even though it was written a while ago. I think they think this is going to give Republicans permission or independence to be like, oh, I guess I could vote for him because yeah. people who support abortion can but it's also money. Who was going to buy this book outside of MAGA diehards? But now it's buzzy. Now we're talking about it because she's putting some stuff out there that's more interesting. So, so you agree with me? I, I do agree with take. you. All right. Well, okay. go right ahead, Missy. I think she... <laughs> I think she hates him. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay, so we can all That's agree on that. That's a given. <laughs> I also think that she wants to take him out. She does not want to be the first lady anymore. They agree with you. She doesn't want to be the first lady. She destroyed the Rose Garden. Who hates Christmas? Melania Trump hates Christmas. She doesn't want to decorate for Christmas. She doesn't she don't want care. anything she doesn't to do with care him. About that, yeah. She doesn't want to sleep in the same room with him. She can't tolerate him. Allegedly. And she does... Yeah, how do you know all this? Yeah, I was like, how I don't do you, know. You don't know all this. I say, allegedly, oh, she, she, she that's why I say allegedly. So, <laughs> I <told> Sonny, yeah. <laughs> allegedly. And so I really think that this is her way of undercutting his bid for the presidency because then she doesn't have to deal but with But it would have hurt him more if she had just said, we all know we lost the election. Right. Yeah. You know, like, that would have <laughs> really... Uh, that would have been but, way better. But, but, well, this, is how yeah. this is how they're simpatico. Like Alyssa said, she needs the money. Because he's broke. So she wants to make the money. Now her memoir is all buzzy. Now we're all talking about it. Maybe now she's not book. as it's bad not, as it's she literally... is. 
You know, well, I, I think I think that she wants to take him out, and she's doing a pretty damn well, good job. I don't totally disagree. The with only that. reason I disagree there sure, is if Donald Trump, we you. forget this. If Donald Trump loses, he likely goes to jail. We actually try the January yeah. 6th case. Yeah. We actually try the documents case. I'm not convinced Melania Trump wants to see the father of her children no. in jail. I think she, doesn't she realizes. She sleep with him. She well, doesn't talk to him. I have. I honestly don't know anything about their personal the, relationship. Here's the the thing that I would say to everybody. This all started with a lie, <coughs> okay? When they brought in all those justices and they said, no, no, we're not gonna touch it, we're not. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, and it's been lie after lie after lie after lie after lie. He continues to say, you know, everybody wanted, this. nobody wanted this, you wanted it. You wanted to make a change because you thought this was going to put you over the top. And what you weren't expecting was to get your behind kicked on this issue because everybody didn't want it because people know enough because half the population is female. We know how our bodies work. So these are conversations we'll have with our doctors we don't want to have with, with your vice well, presidential candidate. And so. to, to Sarah's point about evangelicals and Catholics within the Republican Party, you're absolutely correct. This has been one of the most animating issues for 50 years. There is a segment of the population that wanted Roe overturned, but it's not the majority of the country. And no. one of the most consistent things I hear from Republican women who always kind of, they always said they were pro-life. They always generally opposed abortion when Roe was the law of the land, mm -hmm. is that now that, that they're seeing what that looks like, mm -hmm. and it's this patchwork it where it's means. different yes. in states and people are dying, women are losing their fertility because they can't get access to care they need, women who even opposed abortion are coming around and really realizing some access matters. Yes. That but is where the vast majority of the country and I is. But I'll take it a step further. I actually think that, and I'm Catholic, and people know my, my stance on, on, on abortion. I'm against abortion. However, I think Catholics even, 51, those, that 51% <laughs> that's been quoted, they now think, you know what? I don't care if you have an abortion, yes. but I don't want the government to tell me what to do with my yeah. body. Well, and that is a position that took me years, as you know, Whoopi, that is a position that took me years to get to. But I believe what I believe, but I will be damned if I tell you to believe. But doesn't well, this make it confusing for people? I mean, this is the first time in 40 years that um, the federal ban on abortion is off of the Republican platform. Yes. Mm -hmm. So how are people who are Republicans supposed to respond to that? I don't understand. I what think it's doing. deliberately meant to be confusing. Donald Trump first said he was going to vote for the Florida initiative, mm -hmm. then he said he wasn't going to. Now his wife is pro-abortion. I think he <coughs> thinks he can win the issue by being all over the place and people being unclear, so they yeah, might vote confusing. for him at the well, talk of the I'd like to the remind ticket. all those mm -hmm. Christians and Catholics out there that it is a much bigger conversation than just abortion. Yeah. 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 And it's if, you are, if you are concerned about what this does to a human being in their life, is this the way Jesus wants you to be? Is this the way Jesus wants you to act? Doesn't Jesus want you to be able to say to somebody, come over here, I know you must be going through something tough. Absolutely. As opposed to what we're seeing. This is insane.